Hello my classy classy people. How y'all doing? Wayne Bolden here at the Speed King channel. As always, please turn your closed captions on and of course you can support us by uh, buying our tip sheets which are available for any track in North America. Please email me at speedking24 at yahoo.com. They're $20 per track. Great way to support us. And as always, uh, please join our membership another way and of course buy the Speed King coffee. Well, we're ahead of the curve here uh, for our uh, week in schedule in terms of uh, stake races. And we're going to take a look at the stake races on Friday at beautiful Saratoga. And the first stake race that we're going to uh, take a look at is race number eight. It is the uh, Evan Shipman Handicap. It is for three-year-olds and up New York State breads. They're going a flat mile on the dirt four hundred and twenty five thousand dollars and it's a field of seven we'll give you our top three or four selections in this race uh, we've already did the work so you know we'll go from there for sure so the number one horse is going to be our top pick and again I'm not that crazy about this race but the number one bank it well, everybody knows Bankett, and he is a bit of a bridesmaid, to be quite honest with you. He has 33 starts, 6 wins, 10 seconds, and 5 thirds. I mean, he's earned a million dollars. He's by Central Banker on the back end by Colonial John, which means distance all the way. Trained by, that's right, my guy, uh, Steve Asmussen, and you have the genius in the arms, Joel Rosario. Now, the horse is owned by Winchell Therabreds, one of the major owners for Asmussen. And again, this horse had a very, very bright future a year or two ago, but has not been the same horse, not even close, okay? Has big breaks in the last two uh, lines. Uh, came by way of UAE last time. He ran March 26 over there and ran six by uh, 10 limps. Race before that at Oakland Park, which I thought he should have won that race February 19th. It was an allowance race. He finished fifth at 9 to 5. So, I mean, this horse really do have to go back to some uh, current 2021 uh, form in order to beat this field. But he hasn't been seen for 139 days. It is my guy Asmussen. I'm not that crazy about this race. You can go several ways. And I says, you know what? I'll give Bankett a chance to find that old form he had back in 2020 and 2021 for sure. Off of a long layoff with Asmussen and Rosario. So Bankett's going to be our top pick in here for sure. And our second pick is going to be the speed of the, the race. Well, of course, C form. Uh, sea foam, sea foam on the bottom. Uh, Kamuch is in the arms. Uh, this New York bred has 10 wins from 26 starts. That's extremely good. Making his seven-year-old debut. He's been away for 221 days. This horse is extremely, extremely fast. Um, you know, here and uh, this horse won this race last year. Sea foam won this race for sure last year. Uh, you know, going gate to wire uh, with Rosario in the arms. So again, here's your returning champ from last year in the, in the Evans Shipman Stakes. And I think the horse coming off of a big break, even though he's seven, should be heard from for sure with Kamuch in the arms. And our third pick in this race, well, you know, we're kind of torn between two, <laughs> two evils. We kind of like the five horse in this spot. Well, uh, Tigrigan uh, Terrigan is a very nice horse, a six-year-old, seven wins from 31 starts, nine seconds, a bit of a bridesmaid, three-thirds, Maury, William Maury is doing the training, and you have Irad Ortiz. Now, this horse went across this racetrack on August 3rd, some five days, uh, nine days ago, which I hate. But the horse won so easily by 10 limbs and earned such a great speed figure. I see why uh, Maury is putting this horse in the race. Now, this is the first time Maury had the horse because he claimed the horse out of the last race, okay? And now I'm stepping him into the Evan Shipman stake. So the number five, uh, Terrigan, is a very nice horse. And let's see how this of Fleet Alex uh, gelding runs. That'll be our third pick in here for sure. And if we had to round it out, um, I guess we would look to the number uh, three horse, three jokers. Three jokers to me is a Terra Nova trained uh, horse 
by Toral and Candy, which I always love. But again, a bit of a bridesmaid. Quite a few of these in here likes to run second and third. And it's no different with the three horse, uh, three jokers. 18 stars, three wins, and six seconds. Okay, the horse is by Twirl and Candy. You do have Johnny V up, who's trying to get that to that thousand win mark at Saratoga. Last time I checked, I think he was five or six away. So we'll know he'll be hustling. Do have a race two back there at Belmont, May 15th, only an allowance race. Would have to step it up big time to win this race. So, in this year's Evan Shipman Stakes, eighth race at uh, Saratoga on Friday, we're going to go ahead and lean to our guy, the number one horse, Bank It. Our second pick is going to be the bottom horse, the horse that won this race last year, Seafoam, uh, with Kamuch up, the number seven. And of course, we're going to look to the number five horse as our third pick, Terrigan. And if we had to round out a super, we would use the number three horse, three jokers. So for us, it's one, seven, five, in that order, in this year's Evan Shipman. Uh, handicap on Friday, eighth race at beautiful Saratoga Springs. Let me know what you folks think. Email me at speedking24 at yahoo.com. Speedking24 at yahoo.com. Stay safe, stay classy, and all that you do. Talk with you folks real soon.